Skildrain's at three. There can be only one is at three. Goals in match is at three. I think we just created the greatest anti-meta stun deck in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is anti-meta floodgate monkey. Oh, oh, ah, ah! Elich. I'm at a loss for words. This deck will never lose. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new take on Elich. Literally, Monkey, True Draco, Helmet, Tin Hat, Zero Brain Cell, uh, hmm, uh, the only thinking required, hmm, should I flip up my skill drain in zone number one or zone number two? This deck is going, wow, I am going to shit. If you guys are ready for this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button, I want you to smash the like button, and I want you to prepare yourselves for the absolutely greatest Elledge deck in the history of all time, 9 Floodgates main deck, 12 Floodgates post side deck. Let's get straight into it, boys. And before we get into this video, make sure to go check out www.trickgaming.com for the absolutely greatest LH playmats in the game. All the pre-orders are ready. They arrive in my house this week. I cannot wait to send them out. So make sure to go check out the LH playmats. Guys, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing TCG, so this is a little, really limited time. So make sure to get the playmats now. Let's get straight into the video. Let's go. You guys want to be in the YouTube video? You guys want to be in the YouTube video or not? You guys want to be in the YouTube video? Yeah, get fucked, nerds. I was just joking. <laughs> get fucked, nerds. <laughs> Got your ass. Maybe get good at the game and I'll think about putting you guys in the next one. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful sight in my life. In my life. And I lived a very long life. I have gray hairs in my beard. I'm an old man. I'm a 28-year-old man with gray beards. Hairs. It's kind of sad, actually. It's kind of, it's actually really sad. But anyways, the idea of this deck is very simple. Three skill dream. Konami made this possible. Three goes in match, three to Kobo. You won't be playing, but neither will your opponent. The idea of this is you have 18 offensive cards. Heavenly Prison with Floodgates is truly a remarkable thing. It's a remarkable strategy com combined together. You have 18 offensive cards. Trap Trick almost always gets Scarlet. You don't play Chris Elan in this to really prioritize all the floodgates you play 24 non elid traps so for going second uh, i want you guys to look at all these traps all the 24 traps are board breakers so for all the noobs that don't really understand how elid works if you draw out of these 24 the last 24 traps draw any combination of four of them or three of them you're breaking any board you don't need the skill drain set skill set skill so you don't need strike set skill drain set to kobo set punishment set torrential you're breaking absolutely every board in Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with drytron uh ban see you later ava see you never so this deck is truly outstanding youtube like this deck's truly outstanding and you play the reason behind the re i'll explain everything in depth now as we go into it so we're gonna start off so two golden lord if you play three golden lord please tell me comment down below if you play three golden lord so i could block your youtube channel and never talk to you or see your ugly face again don't play three golden lord that is absolutely awful we play two lord of the heavenly prison because with the utilization of floodgates this card becomes absolutely absurd so a combination of these and all you need is two all you need is two three extravagance perfect now the reasoning behind these ratios is this the times of synchro elich have been gone for four years okay the time for synchro elich have been gone for four years so you don't want to play three scarlet and six golden lands that's the worst ratio ever by turn number two you're gonna have three golden lands in the graveyard not being able to use the effect in a perfect world in a perfect world you want five golden lands and five Scar uh, uh, elixirs sadly scarlet's the only trap elixir so it's not as good as like it's the best one by a landslide so what we're going to be doing is playing four scarlets sorry four elixirs and five golden lands that way you have nine to go in rotation i would much billion times over prefer that than playing curse land because for one curse land is not searchable it takes up a spell and trap zone for going first and it's just if you s look at this logic going first you activate curse land you have four zones left one of the zones is going to be a golden land. Then you're only going to have three traps. Dude, if a combo deck can't play through three interruptions, it's a trash combo deck. So sometimes when you open Chris Allen going first, you just don't have enough. But having this just ensures that your Elish rotation goes on forever. And you're going to have a lot of grindy games because of all these floodgates. Floodgates, beautiful. And Trap Trick most of the time is going to get Scarlet. So you're playing 18 offensive cards and 22 absolute blowouts. All of these trap cards are absolute blowouts. Skill Drain, auto-win. Goes in, auto-win. Takobo, auto-win. All these cards are auto-win against 
uh, Sword Soul, all these cards are auto win against the meta at the moment. And if they're not auto win against a specific thing, let's say, for example, uh, let's say you're facing off against uh, Phantom Knights, which is probably going to be one of the most played decks now. All right, well, they're going to summon a Grave Token card. You hit them with the Gozen, GG. Hit them with a Rivalry, GG. This deck obliterates the entire meta right now. Uh, this is True Draco 2.0, but on crack, on steroids. Like, uh, imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger and True Dracos. Imagine Masterpiece and Arnold Schwarzenegger had a baby. That is this deck. Yeah, that is this deck. Solemn Strike for going second. Uh, for those wondering why Solemn Judgment not in this deck, get good, you absolute noobs. Sorry. Anyways, uh, Solemn Judgment is only good going first. Going second, it does not clear a board. Going second, Solemn Judgment does not break a board whatsoever. Solemn Judgment is strictly for going first to stop Lightning Storm evenly matched post side in game two and game three. Solemn Strike, in combination with any trap in your deck, obliterates an entire board by itself. This deck is not... Like, the deck inherently will win going first every single game if it doesn't get hit with Lightning Storm. In game one, you're going to win every game one, which is why this deck in Master Duel is absolutely absurd because no one plays Lightning Storm evenly matched in game one or a best of one but post side deck is the only way you're going to lose if you get hit with lightning storm and evenly but you have six protections with three solemn and three lord of the heavenly prison so you're absolutely golden and under evenly dude under evenly it doesn't matter anymore under evenly you just save one of your floodgates and you win <laughs> literally it's absolutely absurd how good this is and all the other traps are blowouts three torrential tributes blowout punishment massive blowout against every form of deck Ice Prison, Blowout, Deep Barrier, Blowout. These are good traps to have, but they're not as blowouts as the Floodgates, but Floodgates just win you the duels. This is the side deck, three rivalry, even more Floodgates. Storm Duster, good for back row decks where you're going to want to remove some of the Floodgates. And Takobo is going to, I think you're going to face a lot of Elich uh, to begin the format. And you can use Takobo to hurt their strategy, but you could remove it whenever you want with Golden Lord. This is the extra deck. And that's all I got to say, guys. This deck is... This deck's a thing of beauty. It truly is. I'm a massive fan of this deck. And whenever you want to just turn your brain off, whenever you want to turn your brain off, just use this list card for card. For real. For real. Nine floodgates, dude. This is like true Draco-esque with master powerful strategy. Holy shit. And the deck goes on forever. Because you're playing four elixirs and five golden lands, your elixir... Uh, rotation will go on forever and ever and ever this deck is actually so based and it's absolutely powerful you will win with just one prison or one golden lord this deck truly is insane so make sure to check this out and let me show you guys a quick combo tutorial over here all right so as you see here the combos are very difficult you have to sometimes decide do i put skill drain in the zone beside the deck or do i put the skill drain in the zone beside my extra deck that's typically what your hands are going to be, and you're, you're going to have to use these decisions. Uh, it's, it's very tough. I don't know. What I think I'm going to do is I kind of like the middle column, so I'm just going to put in the middle column. So we'll just put that there. Actually, here's what I'm going to You know what? Wow. Wow. You know what? I'm so genius at this game that I'm actually going to show you guys the best way to combo with this deck. So what you actually do here, you actually, you're going to set the skill drain beside your deck. I'm going to explain why. Are you guys ready for next level 10 head thinking? Are you guys ready for this actual insane theory? I'm, I, I really surprised myself, dude. We're going to set the Scarlet beside the Skill Drain. That way, if they have Twin Twister, they are bound. The second we activate Skill Drain, they're going to chain Twin Twister. And just by being a human being, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll just I'll just hit the one closest beside it. Hitting the Scarlet. Get get wrecked, noob. Top, top tier Elledge gameplay right there. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're going to put the Tacobo in the middle for that same reason. The Wakero beside it. And we're going to put the Strike at the very end. That way, if they were to chain Twin Twister to either Skill Drain or Tacobo, then they could hit our Wakero or our, our Scarlet. Because, wow, that is... How do I... Yo, even with a deck with zero skill... Sorry, not zero skill. Even a, head with zero com even a deck with zero combos, and we still ha uh, think of these 10 head plays. So anyways, uh, we're just going to flip up Skill Drain. And the moment Skill Drain is flipped up, uh, you're going to notice... and. Uh, game two, one o o admit defeat button. GG. We're gonna go to the next one. So hope you guys enjoy this. Also, Tacobo does hurt Elich a lot, but the idea of this is because of the fact, because of when the fact we that we're that playing, because of the fact that we're playing so many floodgates. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't play because your opponents for damn sure not playing. That's the idea of playing so many floodgates that it doesn't matter how many you play. Uh, your opponent's not gonna stand an absolute chance. You don't need to resolve Okero. When there's a floodgate, you're good. You literally just sit on a Golden Lord for the entire duel. 
And if they could find a way to out Golden Lord to Takobo on Skill Drain, you strike the out. GG, see you later. Have a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I got beautiful, amazing, amazing play playmats down in the description below on my, on my site. Go check them out right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace!